Hello all and welcome to another pickups video and this pickups video is everything from a day out in the Midlands and more precisely the Briley Hill area. So while I was in Briley Hill I visited three different independent game shops, I visited several charity shops and also got to visit CX while you're in, a, in an area that has one haven't you as well. So yes also visited the CEX and this day out was made all possible by the kindness of a good friend of mine and fellow YouTuber Big Game Owl. He doesn't live far from me. We had this idea in mind for a while now we planned this trip and he came and picked us up and then when he took us there we met up with two other youtubers as well we met up at the house of the bear the retro bear that is we met there and while we were there we also met up with paul ink norther as well and the four of us had a nice little game hunting day out in Briley Hill. And as I say, we visited three independent shops uh, while we were there. And we met up with another tuber as well. We'll get to that when we get there. Let's start off with the first one, the first independent game shop. And that was Vintage Gamer. Picks up four games from there. The very first one being Peter Jackson's King Kong. Now, this came about into my possession via the hands of Big Gamer because he picked it up. And I said, oh, that's a nice one, mate. I need that one. And he says, oh, I was just buying it for an upgrade. He only needs about 10 games to complete the 360 set i do believe so he was only buying it for an upgrade and when he said when i said I, I needed it he very kindly passed it over to us so i grabbed it you know got a manual and a nice condition disc in there so thank you very much alpha let me have that one from vintage game i really do appreciate it also from vintage game i've got one of the later maddens we've got madden 16 First time I've ever seen Madden 16 out in the wild, so pleased to pick it up. Obviously with, with manual and extra bits of paraphernalia there as well, so pleased to have picked that up. So, yep, nice to tick another one of the many sports titles off the list. And we're going to stick with sports here, but this time we're going to go to MMA. This is EA Sports MMA. Ignore the £5 on it. And this one is sealed as well. So when I saw it there and I needed it, I saw an open copy, but once I saw a sealed copy, I thought, well, I'll have the sealed copy because I know the disc is going to be pristine and I know it's going to have a manual in it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a tear to the seal there, but I'm going to open it and play it because I want to play every 360 game possible. Certainly on my quest to pop at least one achievement from every game, which I really have taken underway. And I'm over 100 games in, by the way. So, yeah, I saw that. I thought, we'll nab that one. We'll have that. Nice to seal it. Everything's going to be minty. Can't beat that. And then finally, the last game from Vintage Game Art was MotoGP 15. Opened it up. No manual, but it's got this writing on the inlay, which is a, a sign that generally doesn't have a manual. Not always true, but generally doesn't have a manual manual so nice to grab one of the later moto gp 15s took all the games to the counter and when we got to the counter nick was going through them all to make sure we had the right discs in there and lo and behold had a disc in it for moto gp 14 as well and he said oh don't worry i won't charge you that you can have that for free and i did say honestly mate if you want to take it out you can take it out i don't mind I didn't know it was in there and he very kindly left it in there for us so those were the only four games i got from vintage gamer and let's just say the price of all four combined was cheaper than what cx would have gave me uh sorry what i would have had to give cx Let's get it the right way around, Rob. So, yeah, nice deal there from Vintage Gamer. Very happy with it. Thank you very much to Nick. Yep, stellar guy. Top deal. Thank you very much, mate. Okay, next up is the other YouTuber that we met along the way. That's because I took a visit to Hidden Chess Gaming for the very first time, run and owned by Dainster. And I did leave with a couple of games there. We did sway away a little bit from the 360. We did pick up one 360 game. Spotted a sports title on the shelf that I needed. It was the only game that I had in stock that I needed, unfortunately. But always nice to nab any game that I do need for a very low price as well. Got the foil on the front, NHL 15. Uh, got the very... Poor excuse for a manual in there, like some of the EA games have, just sort of white sheet of paper. Fantastic condition, just nice to always cross another one off the extensive list for the full power set of 360. Now, the other game that I did pick up there, I did pick up three items, but the other game I did pick up there is the one non-360 game I've got from the day, and that is a Game Gear game, Taito Chase HQ. Absolutely fantastic. Now, he's got a Facebook group for Hidden Chess Gaming, and he did a little picture of Game Gear games and a Game Gear, and I saw that there, and I thought, Do you know what? I'm only going there next week. If that's there, I'm going to look out for that, and I'm possibly going to nab it. It's that, yeah, absolutely had to have it once I saw it there. I think he had it marked up at £12. Great price. So, yeah, I, I had to nab that, and I've, I've given this a little go. I've given this a little go. It's a good little port. The only downside to it is the sound's god 
they're loud and persistent and horrible so have to turn that right down but gameplay gameplay is it's say it's a good little port for the game we have a lot of fun with this so it's been an absolute pleasure to give this a bash now they were the only two items that i was going to leave you see the prices on those he done us a deal on those as well so thank you very much dana and but uh just before i left i was like oh yeah i've got to check the umds because i still need one for my saw collection and i need the first saw on umd because if you don't know i am trying to collect all formats of the saw film across whatever they were released on so dvds blu-rays and umds and i do believe they only released the first one and the second one on umd and i have the second one and i've seen the first oh look little sticker little sticker forgot that was in there some glow in the dark stickers from hidden chess game a couple of those what a proper pickup that is right yeah we'll stick those somewhere uh, yeah that sounds a bit, bit wrong but anyway yeah no i've seen this a couple of times before it's been absolutely battered and i know it should have this insert in it so when i shot to his umd section and i saw this sitting there, i thought you know what got to have that got to have that and it was only a quid as well I had a quid and change in my pocket through that am and said thank you very much we'll have that as well and what a cracking little shop it is by the way not just games in there but retro toys and i've watched videos of it uh, little room tour videos of uh, room tour little game tour videos of hidden chess gaming and i I, I thought, wow, there's a lot of stuff in there, but it's not till you actually go there that you, you realise, wow, there's a hell of a lot of stuff in there. Didn't do any filming while I was out. Didn't do any filming in there, regrettably. However, what I will do, I know James of Retro Import Gamer has done a fairly recent shop tour of Hidden Chess Gaming. So what I'll do is I'll link his video in the description below. So after you've watched this, please do go across and check that video out. And drop James a sub as well. He's a top bloke too. I and mean, in fact, by the way, all of the YouTubers that I'm mentioning in this video, links in the description to their channels. Please check them out and drop them a sub if you haven't done so already. Anyway, that's Hidden Chess Gaming covered. And then finally, we were off to old school gaming. And I left for quite the pile there. I left for quite the pile there. I couldn't believe when I went to the 360 section that I found so many that I needed. So yeah, we'll whisk through those. Uh, first up, first up is Remember Me. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Never played it. Never ever turned out my local CEXs, and it's always one that I would have nabbed if it had done. It's made by Capcom, and of course, I went through all of the games, so they're all going to come complete with manual. So that was the very first one I grabbed, and as I say, I'm very much looking forward to playing that. And another sealed game turned up. This time it's History Channel Great Battles Medieval. There's another History Channel game, and the name of that escapes my my memory right now and i have that one so when i saw this there i got my, i thought i had it good old phone come to the rescue got my list out that's on my phone saw that i didn't have great battles medieval so absolutely that went into the pile as well we also grabbed the first the first wrc world rally championship and that is fantastic to have because i've got two three and four and having this one means i'm only missing five now and i really love rally games i've got to be honest with you the more arcadey they are the better and the simulation if it handles well as well kind of like them as well so looking forward to cracking on with this one trust me as i say do like a good rally game uh next up towers of vesperia a few times I've seen this and not kind of pulled the trigger on it because I think it's just been a little bit too pricey or I've just preferred something else on the day. Look at that from manual. That is borderline offensive weapon, that is. You can certainly use it as a door wedge as well. But yeah, Tales of Asperia. Never played a Tales game, so it'd be interesting to give this a bash. Don't know a lot about it. Love the artwork. Absolutely love the artwork. And it's made by Namco as well, so can't be bad. Can't be bad. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a bash soon uh next up was actually i think it was the very first game i spy that i needed in old school gaming and that was marvel superhero squad the infinity gauntlet and again it's another one i love the artwork on actually very nice artwork do like that so i open it up had a manual in it as well it's been attacked by i don't think it's game but some of them have been attacked by game but not this one and yeah it just looks it just looks very, obviously a little bit more cartoony than they normally would look, I believe, but it looks a lot of fun. I, again, it's another game I know nothing about, but one I've always had on the radar because it's always I've always thought it'd be interesting to try. Uh, next up, Bejeweled Three. I've been playing this via Game Pass, and I do believe it is the sort of arcade version bunged on a disc for you. I only got 200G on it, but I haven't got all of the achievements out of this game yet, despite playing it. But we will get there one day, hopefully. And include oh, didn't even really, do you know? I never even noticed that it includes three bonus games: Bejeweled Blitz Live, Zuma, and Feeding Frenzy 2. I don't know if I played Bejeweled Blitz Live. I've definitely played these two. I think a thousand G Feeding Frenzy 2. I've not 1,000G, 1,000G, I think they only come with 200 or 400. I haven't maxed these out, we'll leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I didn't notice that at the time. There you go, there's a bonus while you're making a video, thank you very much. Right, and still not still not ended the game, so I'm hitting, 
uh, from uh, Old School Gaming. Next one up is DreamWorks Shrek the Third. Now, I did buy this off eBay once, and it came absolutely battered, and I had to get a refund. So to have this finally is nice. got a nice crisp manual in it as well, extra paraphernalia again as well. And, oh, a little registration card, so proper complete that one. In, in absolutely immaculate condition, which is nice, because as I say, I had a battle one off eBay turn up, and I had to get a refund for. And final game from Old School Gaming. Inversion. I haven't heard great things about this, but it will certainly be interesting to try for myself. And I haven't heard great things about it, and it's a Namco game, so maybe it's all about personal preference. Turn the world upside down. I guess that's where they're going with the name Inversion. So that was everything. I picked up from old school gaming. And let me just say again, the total I pay for these would have been less, was less spent than I would have if I'd have bought them all from CX. So he's done us another great deal there as well. So thank you very much to, I think it's Richard of old school gaming. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Final three pickups. As I say, we did do the charity shops, but unfortunately they did prove rather fruitless and not great. But however, in one charity shop, I found this. Just about fitting on the screen here. You're in the movies with camera, which you need to play the game, sealed. And they had it priced up at £8. Now, I didn't know how much it would be with the camera and all that in in CEX, because obviously that's what we go by in charity shops. We know we like helping charity shops out, but at the same time, we don't mind spending a little bit more, but we don't want to overspend, obviously. Who does want to overspend? But anyway, it turns out the game in CEX on its own, no camera, is a pound. But if you want to buy it with the game and the camera from CEX, it's a fiver. That uh, that little bit of research was done on the day by Big Game Out at the time, so thanks, mate. So yeah, it's five pound from CEX with the camera, but this, I say, this is sealed. This is brand new and sealed. And that was basically the point which you know made me decide you know it's brand new and sealed i'll get it for the extra three pound i'm going to get a new and sealed one of these absolutely all day long so that's a really nice find actually i'm really really pleased with that and you know it probably is a bad game but uh you know what we'll give it a bash we'll give it a bash why not right as i said we did visit cex and picked up a couple of games from there and both cheapies, both cheapies, but really pleased to have them. One that just hasn't really turned up in one of my local CXs, and it's only £1.50 at that. Adidas Me Coach, training with the best. And inside, of course, there's my receipts. We'll pop that somewhere safe for now, but that with the rest of the pile of receipts from CX. Anyway, came with manual. Nice and complete. They did have the manuals in the box where I took them to the counter, so that was a nice... I love it when CX do that. It saves a lot of uh, awkwardness and asking, you know, and explaining why you want the man manuals to, to someone behind the, the, the counter who's just thinking, well, you got the game, you want to play it, didn't you? Al did remind me that it's a two-disc game, so make sure that it's got two discs. I didn't realise this was a two-disc game, but it does say it on the front there. Do... No, it doesn't. It should say on the front there. No, I put two discs on there. Maybe that's why it happened to you, Al. I do believe you ordered, I think you ordered this off CX once. It only came with one disc when it's meant to have two. But as you'll see on this disc, it says disc one. And obviously on the other one, it does say disc two. So, yeah, another fitness game. You get a lot of those on the Kinect. And obviously, I want to get cheap at every game possible, which I'm working on at the moment. So we will pop one on that. And the final pickup, the very final pickup, just a pound spent on Winter Sports, the great tournament, 2010. Again, Manual inside it, so no, before I go to the counter, that is there. So we nabbed this one, and like I said, for only a pound. So that means I've now got 2009, 2010, and 2011. I think that's all of them. I may be wrong. I should have done some research before I started speaking about it in this video. I do need the Summer Athletics one still. That's uh, one that's uh, high on my hit list, because it's a little bit of an oddity one, even though not expensive, that doesn't turn up very often. So I'm on the uh, on the lookout for that one at the moment. But that's everything I picked up from what was an absolutely fantastic day out in the Briley Hill area. Thanks again to Al for for giving us a lift we met up at retro bear's house like i said so thank you very much mate for your hospitality of course met mrs bear again which is always which is always fantastic what an absolutely lovely couple there are friends for life i've got there and of course paul rink northerner came down as well which he had to make a bit of a journey for so highly appreciate that and loved it to see you again as well paul it's the second time i've met you as well so all in all an absolute great day out an absolute great day out and i can't wait to go back again and probably spend more money than i should in one day but anyway ladies and gentlemen that wraps up the video so if you have enjoyed it hit a thumbs up that'd be awesome youtube likes all that stuff when you do it and please subscribe if you're new and all that that would be highly appreciated too but anyway thank you very much for watching and as always please do take care